Hi folks, my name is Justin. Unfortunately today, Vash is not going to be here because he has some scheduling conflicts with a new school he's attending. Instead here today we have... Catherine. Awesome, let's do this. Today we saw the Lego movie starring everybody. Holy crap. Uh, Chris Pratt, uh, Will Arnett, uh, Elizabeth Banks, um, Allison Brie. Allison Brie, Morgan Freeman, Channing Tatum, like just Jonah Hill. Uh, Jonah Hill, like ev everyone's in this everyone's in this movie. I'm actually very upset no one called me because apparently everybody else got to be in this movie. This is Lego's first movie as far as I know, like first full feature like out into the world. I'm sure they've you, you said that they've done some they've like done, uh, straight, straight to DVD to Netflix yeah. like hey kids buy this toy kind of thing, but this is the first full-blown hour and a half commercial to buy more Legos. I loved this movie. I knew from the very first trailer I was going to like this, and I was right. I knew from the first trailer that I was going to find it a little bit problematic, and I was right. But I still enjoyed this movie. But you enjoyed it. I did. Okay. But that issue for me was that they were selling Legos as basically a giant commercial, and yet they still weren't really reaching out to the female demographic that Lego is known to have a problem kind of attracting to their products. The, I, th that could be true. As a non-female human being, I don't know that. Again, we've reviewed I don't speak for all women. I'm not trying to speak for all women. I will speak for all men for this video. But I found I have no idea what's going Elizabeth on. Banks a little bit problematic. Really? Her voice work was a little bit unemotional and it didn't have a lot of character for me. Anyone that comes out the same week with two movies, Zack and Miri make a porno, and you play Laura Bush in W, and no one questions either character choice for you, that's, that's some good shit. Will Arnett as Batman Will was Ar amazing. Will Perfect as, casket. Was, casting. Honestly, Will Arnett sounds like that. He's just got that low, scraggy, like either smokes a pack a day of everything possible and or is always hungover voice. <laughs> We forgot Liam Neeson. Good Liam Neeson talk, was in talk. this. Yes, mm. everyone was in this movie. They, they were dealing with a lot of tropes in this movie. Um, they were not groundbreaking concepts in the Lego movie. Not that there's anything wrong no. with that. And, and they I, did I think really it was well. a good way of introducing kids who aren't so familiar to these tropes. Like they're not going to be like, oh, I'm tired of this. I've seen this in so many. I movies. imagine the nine-year-old will not be tired of tropes. <sighs> no. Nor will they probably know what the word trope is. I will say this, because I don't know how much is and is not. If you want to leave a comment below with more, or leave a link, or to tell me where I can learn about it, I probably will search later. Because we are not experts. Yes, because we obviously don't research anything. So from what I understand, the Legos were primarily all stop motion. So like, the lasers being shot and all that yeah. kind of stuff would look super cool, all the action sequences do. But then their faces, we're all CG. I couldn't tell within the movie which parts were CGI and which parts were stop motion. It, yeah. it looked really seamless. Super um, cool. When you get Legos, the instructions are not, there's no words on them. It's all just pictures and I like I had one arrows. Lego set, it was a dollhouse. I have no idea what he's talking about. There, there are no words. It's not like insert tab A to tab B. It's just a photo of the two things. I think it's pretty much setting you up to learn how to build Ikea furniture. <sighs> Catherine, I've actually not met Catherine until today again. Not a Tinder date. In this case, Catherine actually is a longtime viewer. This is the first fan, theoretically, I guess we'll say, to come on the show. She has been commenting below for months now, and in fact, I thought she was somebody else. So I thought you were my friend Elise. Hi Elise, how are you doing this whole time? And so I've always read your comments with my friend's voice, and now I'm excited to now reread some of your comments, now knowing who you actually are as a human being. Should we review the movie? Didn't we just review the movie? Oh, look at you getting right there for that. Look, she is a pro. I actually am gonna give this a four out of five. I think it was totally fun to watch. I laughed the whole way through, and she will attest to it, because I think it bothered her at some point that I was laughing so much. Um, and I would happily see it again in any medium I can in the future. So yeah, totally go to it. It's a lot of fun. Catherine? I would give this movie three stars. I want to like it stars. as much as you, and I kind of do like it as much as you, but the problematic parts pull me back into the real world. I don't know what to talk about. I need to look at my notes. Look at your notes. She has notes. This woman wrote notes. I should, like, you're showing me up. I should have written something down. I just showed up here and started talking. That 80s spaceship guy was one of my favorite characters in the Charlie Day. Charlie Day. Fans Everyone is in this sunny. movie. 
Everyone is in this movie. Except you, I'm sorry. Except, oh, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you, well, I will see you next week.